What's up guys, Econ John here. Welcome to hopefully only a three-part series on the diamond overlapping generations model. Let's go. So in this video, we'll cover the baseline diamond model without any government or social security program. This will include a brief overview of what the diamond model is, two, the lifetime utility function of an arbitrary individual born at time t, three, the lifetime budget constraint for any individual born at an arbitrary time t, Four, the derivation of the intertemporal Euler equation using the Lagrangian. And five, solving for the optimal savings rate. From this baseline model, we could add more structure and really learn the policy implications taught from the diamond model. So what is the diamond model? The diamond model is a type of overlapping generations model, which means it expresses turnover in the population as other OLG models do. But in this version, it has the unique feature of possible dynamic inefficiency. Since it's a OLG model, it captures the idea of different stages in life of the consumers and their economic significance. For simplicity, we will be defining the lifetime of our individuals to be two periods. A period where our consumer is working, consuming and investing, which is the young period, and the period where they are only consuming previously invested consumption, which is the old period. In this model, individuals die in their third period and new ones are constantly being born. This can be visualized as the following, where Y and O is the individual when young and old, respectively. It is important to note that we will be defining variables across age and time. For example, if we wanted to define consumption of the young in time 1, we would write it as C11, and for the old in time 1, we would define it as C21. So we have to pay attention to this order. So 1 is when young, 2 is when old. So since in the diamond model, we have individuals who live for two periods, we must consider an additive model. We assume preferences are the same across generations. So the utility function for any individual at an arbitrary time t is the following, where C1t and C2t plus 1 is the consumption of a single consumer when young and old, respectively. As previously noted in the RCK model, this is form is necessary for convergence to a balanced growth path. Also, in this model, our consumer's lifetime budget constraint is defined as the following. ATWT is equal to C1T plus C2T plus 1 all over 1 plus RT plus 1, which is the present value of labor is equal to the lifetime present value of consumption. So now that we've defined our utility function and budget constraint, we can put them in the Lagrangian and solve for our Euler equation. So there's some algebra on this slide, but I'm just going to go point right at our final result over here. So our oil equation, which is our consumption ratio in each period, is equal to 1 plus RT plus 1 all over 1 plus rho raised to the power of 1 over theta. That's our Euler equation. A key result we can derive from the Euler equation is the optimal savings equation. Recall, we can rearrange our Euler equation to be the consumption when old is equal to 1 plus RT plus 1 all over 1 plus rho raised to the power of 1 over theta times the consumption when young, right? If we were to take this and plug it into our budget constraint, we get an interesting result, right? The optimal consumption when young is equal to 1 plus rho raised to the power of 1 over theta all over 1 plus rho raised to the power of 1 over theta plus 1 plus RT plus 1 raised to the power of 1 minus theta all over theta times ATWT. On the next slide, we'll show why this is so interesting. So note that the optimal consumption is essentially defined as ATWT multiplied by a fraction. This implies that only a fraction of the income is being consumed. This implies that the fraction being saved or saving rate is defined as the following. So what's unique about this is that if we were to go and add this to the fractional part in the equation on the previous slide, we would go and get one. We can therefore rewrite equation three as one minus our savings rate times ATWT. So that's an introduction to the diamond model, right? Without any government, without any social security program. In the next video, I'm hoping to go and cover that. See you in the next one.